Imagine a universe where the fundamental rules as we know them are turned upside down. Today, I'll dive into a revolutionary concept that may just change our understanding of the cosmos. It's called the gravity without mass theory. Let's start with what we know. Traditionally, gravity is seen as a force exerted by objects that possess mass. The greater the mass, the stronger the gravitational pull. This concept is the bedrock of our understanding of the universe. But what if I told you that mass might not be a necessary ingredient for gravity? Enter Dr. Richard Liu from the University of Alabama in Huntsville. His latest study, published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, presents a mind-bending idea. Gravity could be generated by topological defects or irregularities in the fabric of the universe itself. Yes, you heard that right. This theory challenges the very existence of dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up about 27% of the universe, yet remains directly undetectable. For nearly a century, scientists believed that dark matter was essential to explain the gravitational forces that hold galaxies together. But Dr. Liu's research suggests an alternative concentric shell-like structures formed during a phase transition in the early universe. These topological defects, dense regions in the form of cosmic strings or spherical shells, might be the real heroes behind the gravitational pull we attribute to dark matter. Intriguingly, Dr. Liu's model includes an inner layer of positive mass and an outer layer of negative mass, balancing out to zero. Yet a star within these shells would still experience a powerful gravitational pull towards the center. If this theory holds, it could revolutionize our understanding of gravity and potentially eliminate the need for dark matter in our cosmic equations. The implications for cosmology are profound, reshaping not just theories, but possibly the very approach to understanding our universe. This is more than just a scientific inquiry. It's a journey into the unknown realms of physics, challenging what we thought was unchallengeable. So what do you think? Could we be on the verge of a new understanding of gravity? Now that we've explored the revolutionary concept of gravity without mass, you might be wondering, how can this theory be tested experimentally? Testing the theory that gravity can exist without mass involves complex and innovative experimental setups. Let's dive into some of the most promising approaches based on recent advancements in physics research. One intriguing method is gravity-mediated entanglement. Experiments have been proposed to test the quantum nature of gravity by attempting to create entanglement between massive particles through their gravitational interaction. If successful, this would demonstrate gravity's ability to act in a quantum mechanical way, which could support theories like the one proposed by Dr. Liu. Another approach involves photonic simulations. Researchers have used photons to simulate the principles of gravity-mediated entanglement. This approach provides insights into the quantum aspects of gravity and could be adapted to test theories where gravity is not directly caused by mass. Geophysical experiments offer another promising avenue. As some experiments test Newton's law of gravity by making precise gravity measurements in different environments, such as deep mine shafts or tall structures. These could potentially be adapted to test for gravitational effects that are not associated with visible mass. Quantum harmonic oscillators have also been proposed as a method to reveal the quantumness of gravity. This setup aims to understand whether gravity is fundamentally quantum or classical. Additionally, small-scale gravity measurements are crucial. To test theories that involve gravity at very small scales, where quantum effects dominate, researchers need to measure gravity's influence at these scales. Recent technological advancements are making such measurements more feasible. But what challenges do scientists face in conducting these experiments? Firstly, technological limitations. The precision required to detect minute gravitational effects, especially at quantum scales, is incredibly high. Current technology may not be sensitive enough to measure these effects accurately. Environmental noise is another major hurdle. Gravity is a weak force and its effects are easily overshadowed by other forces and environmental noise. Isolating gravitational interactions from electromagnetic and other quantum effects is a significant challenge. Then there's theoretical uncertainty. The theory itself is still hypothetical and not widely accepted. 
This means there is a lack of consensus on what exactly needs to be tested and how to interpret the results. The scale of phenomena also poses a challenge. The gravitational effects without mass are expected to occur at cosmological scales or in conditions that are difficult to replicate in a laboratory setting such as those of the early universe. Funding and resources are always a concern. Such cutting-edge research requires substantial funding and resources which can be difficult to secure for theories that challenge established paradigms. Interdisciplinary collaboration is often required involving astrophysics, quantum physics and cosmology, which can be logistically complex. Finally, ethical and practical considerations. Some proposed experiments, like those involving microgravity, might need to be conducted in space, introducing a whole new set of ethical, practical and financial complications. Despite these challenges, there are international collaborations focused on advancing our understanding of gravity and related phenomena. For instance, the IceCube Neutrino Observatory involves a team from the Niels Bohr Institute, University of Copenhagen, contributing to a large-scale experiment near the South Pole to determine if gravity also exists at the quantum level using neutrinos. Dr. Richard Liu's research at the University of Alabama in Huntsville is another example. His work on gravity without mass, published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, suggests that gravity can be generated by topological defects in the universe's fabric. This groundbreaking research is likely to involve collaboration with other institutions to further test and validate the findings. The journey to test and validate these theories is just beginning. The path is fraught with challenges, but the potential rewards are immense. A deeper understanding of the very fabric of our universe. As we delve deeper into the realm of gravity without mass, one can't help but wonder are there any upcoming conferences or symposia dedicated to this groundbreaking topic? While the search results do not provide specific details about upcoming events focused solely on gravity without mass, conferences in the fields of physics and astronomy are frequent hubs for such revolutionary discussions. Researchers from around the globe gather at these events to share their latest theories, present findings and forge collaborations that push the boundaries of our understanding. To stay informed about upcoming gatherings, keep an eye on announcements from major physics and astronomy societies, university departments and leading research institutions. Following the work of pioneering researchers like Dr. Richard Liu and keeping track of publications in prestigious journals such as the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society can offer valuable leads on relevant conferences. Dr. Liu's research on gravity without mass is stirring interest and could soon become a hot topic at many scientific symposia. If you're keen on attending these events, consider reaching out to academic and research institutions that specialize in gravitational studies or theoretical physics. They often have information on planned symposia or conferences. Moreover, networking with professionals in the field through platforms like LinkedIn or academic networking sites can provide additional insights and opportunities to engage with the latest research.